Hey there, this is Brett from Checkfront support team. And today I'm going to show you how to modify the color of the buttons on your customer booking page using custom CSS. So to start, I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to right click on this and click inspect. And this will bring up a uh, tool that lets you see the elements that the page is made up of. So you can see here that this is the, the link that we're going to be modifying. So to start, um, we can test out the changes before we make them by clicking this plus button here for new style rule. And it'll give us a uh, couple of class names um, that we'll use to select the uh, available button. Now, what we're going to want to change is the background color property of this uh, button here. So we can start typing background color. And we can either use a uh, color just in word format or a hex code. And for the uh, flexibility of choosing whatever color you desire, um, I would recommend using a hex code of some sort. So we can start just by typing uh, six digits like this. And then Chrome has a handy uh, color picker, which we can then use. So let's go for maybe blue. Perfect. So um, we'll be using hashtag 197B9F, because I think that's a nice shade of blue. So what we'll want to do is copy this whole chunk of code here. And then back in our uh, admin interface, you'll go to manage, layout, booking page, and CSS editor. And we'll want to paste that in here. So we can hit save, and go back to the booking page. Let's give it a refresh here. And now you can see that the color is blue. However, when we hover over it, it's still the uh, original green color. So we'll have one more property to change. So to uh, toggle the hover, we can click this, check the hover check mark. And now you can see that there are um, something called a pseudo selector here. Uh, which selects just the hover. And we can see that it already has a different background color defined. So what we're gonna want to do is go back to our CSS override. We can just paste this one again. And then after the available, we'll give it a colon there and type hover. And now we'll probably want the uh, color to be a slightly different shade of blue. So let's find a different hex code for that. So we probably want it to be somewhat similar, um, just maybe a little bit lighter. So we'll go for 2CA7DF, copy that, and paste it in here. And before we hit save, actually, we're going to want to add an important flag. Uh, to override the previous setting there. So now we can hit save. We can go back, refresh the page. And there you go. It's dark blue, and when you hover over it, it's light blue. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at checkfront.com. Thanks.